But then what you think about like now today, like police officers, like firemen, military guys, they kind of seem as like lame. And like, you know, when I was younger, like my mom used to be like them, like the best kind of men to like get with and marry. But now today, they looked at it as like lame and stuff like that because they don't make enough money. I mean, they actually make a lot of money. <laughs> they actually make a lot of money. What's a lot of money to you? A, lo a, a lot of money. Mm. More than a person at McDonald's making, more than a person that make, that even works at the bank, depending on how long they've been in the military. You get what I'm going? So, um, I mean, I think you're using the money, you're using monetary as the issue, or just saying that they're laying there, or you've heard that, but I think people sometimes stereotype them as lame because they don't like to get in a lot of trouble. Because they lived a structured life when they were in the military. You get on going, and it was a lot of things that they just weren't allowed to do. So, you know, you get on going. So there's a lot of things that you would take risks and do that they wouldn't even bother. You get on going. So I think that's what that is. Seem like it's lame. Like it's, it's not. Like, would like prefer to date a the average person. military person, like yeah, at 19, can go and get a loan on a house. They use their VA loan. They don't have to put anything down, and they can get a two hundred thousand dollar house. Versus you, you can work at McDonald's for like two, four, five, six, ten years, and can't put that. They won't apply. You know, they won't give you a loan. It's loans for this. It's um, it's real development loans. You don't I have guess it's all kind of shit. But now, I think you. I think it's information about a lot of stuff. It's financial security and they have it. They have a constant check coming in on the first and the fifteenth and then when they're retired every first of the month. Like the government banks they see that they're going to get paid. So they have no problem with giving an eighteen, nineteen year old that just came in the military a house, a car, whatever they want. You get from going? Because they know that they're gonna get their money. And what the government normally does too, I don't know if they still do this, so I don't want to quote, I'm gonna just say allegedly, is oftentimes if you renege on one of your payments for your car, they let your upline know, your lieutenant and all of them, they get on you and oftentimes they'll just take that siphon out your pay. So they going you're gonna pay your bills. <laughs> you get wrong going? I think that takes a sense of understanding, like females that you're probably referring to who would think they lame is, like you said, somebody who want a scammer, so nobody, they're not thinking, oh, well, if I get a home that they can get this type of loan and stuff like that, they just, like we see the, you know, the, fast money, what you the flashy it. type, everybody want to be a bad B and all this extra stuff. So. Yeah, and that, that to me, that, I mean, I'm ready for that era to end, the bad bitch era, mm -hmm. please, let's just, let's just move past it.